This is the Hummingbird and Lily die set from Spellbinders. I love die sets like these that come with all sorts of different pieces. They're great for using with cardstock scraps, or you can start from scratch. Here I did some die cutting with watercolor cardstock, and I did both the flowers as well as the hummingbirds. I chose to use chameleon mica powders with watercolor to color in the hummingbirds, and it worked perfectly because chameleon mica powders have a beautiful shimmer to them. This was perfect for the hummingbird die cuts, which was really easy to assemble. All of the pieces fit together really, really well. And I love the fact that because this hummingbird is in many different pieces, you can choose how to lay it out and how to put the wings to work best on your card. I added some black enamel accents to both the eye and the beak for some shine and dimension. And because I assembled them with liquid glue it was really easy to move and shimmer shimmy all over the pieces in place the rest of the die cuts i used some ink blending tools to blend the ink on it to color them and then also assembled them with that liquid glue i ended up making a mistake and using or assuming one piece was a leaf when it was actually a flower petal so i recut that and did my ink blending and assembled that with all of those pieces glue together. It makes it really easy to put the card together. Just assemble and attach all of the different die cuts. I used a white gel pen for some dot detail on top of the lily and I absolutely love how beautiful the final card looks. It has lots of texture and dimension and some gorgeous shine from those mica powders. This is a fantastic die set. I use it to create a card but I could think it would be great for doing mixed media as well as scrapbook pages.